hi guys it's Jody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some Jamaican excavate fish yes so here I have one red snapper yellow tail snapper and white snapper okay they're already washed and clean I wash it with some lemon juice just to take some of the rawness away from it and I also cut it okay I cut it on this side and on the other side yeah so you want to make sure that you take a paper towel and pat dry it so when you're frying it it doesn't stick this is very very important and even flip it over and dry the other side okay so I'm just gonna show you guys and how I cut it so you wanna take your sharp knife and just you know take your time and cut, cut into it like so yeah so when you're seasoning it the season go right through and when you're frying it also it fry nicely yeah this is all of my seasoning here i have two teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning two teaspoon of fish seasoning and one teaspoon of black pepper okay i'm not gonna add a lot of seasoning so first thing i'm gonna do i'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of salt on it a lot of people say that there is no thing of white snapper but where I'm at they sell white snapper yes so this is the white one and this is the yellow tail so now I'm just gonna blend all my seasoning together Make sure that everything is all combined, yeah? So now I'm just gonna sprinkle the seasoning on, like so. Just gonna take your hand and just rub in all that seasoning. Make sure the seasoning is on the part that you cut. And you want to make sure guys that you put the seasoning on the inside turn it over and you just want to carry on with the same process okay So my fish is nicely, nicely seasoning. So now I'm about to fry them. So these are my ingredients for my extra fish dressing. Here I have half sweet pepper. I have the green, the red, the yellow, and two scotch bonnet pepper, one onion, and one carrot, okay? So I'm just gonna show you guys how to cut it. 
they're already washed yeah so you want to cut them like around you know this size try and remove the white part that's on the inside yeah So the dressing guys is gonna make with white vinegar, okay? So now I'm just gonna cut my scotch bonnet pepper. And you just wanna cut it in circle, okay? I'm not gonna add the whole two. I'm just gonna add one. Cause I don't want it to be super, super spicy. But the scotch bonnet pepper is just gonna add, you know, a nice flavor. Just gonna cut my onion. It's best if you have a bigger onion, use a larger one. But I don't have a large one, I only have a small one. It doesn't really matter. yeah like so so my carrot is already peeled and washed so i'm just gonna remove the end then i'm gonna cut it in two can just cut it like so yeah this size is perfect so everything is nicely cut so I'm just gonna add it to my plate right here So now I'm gonna fry my fish. So here I have my pot and my stove and I add at least two cup of vegetable oil to my pot, okay? But guys, you wanna make sure that your oil and your pot is hot, okay? Before you add your fish. So now I'm just gonna start off by adding some scotch bonnet pepper. And it's just gonna add flavor to your oil. So now I'm gonna add my fish.
So you're gonna allow your fish to fry for at least six minutes on each side, okay? So now I'm gonna turn over my fish. So you wanna take your time. and golden so now I'm gonna remove it they are nice and crispy Super, super crispy. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. They're looking so good. So I'm just gonna remove it, guys, and put it to a plate on top of a paper towel, okay? So I'm gonna add my remaining fish. Now I'm going to make my escarbage sauce. So this is the same pot that I used to fry my fish and I just remove most of the oil from it, okay? And just leave back just over a tablespoon. If there's any bits in the oil, you can always remove it, okay? So now I'm just going to firstly add my carrot. You want to make sure your stove is at a medium heat, okay? So I'm going to add my carrot now. And I'm going to add some pimento seed, at least one teaspoon of pimento. And you're just going to leave it guys just for a couple of seconds, okay? At least 20 seconds. So just after 20 seconds or so guys, I'm going to add my onions, okay? So just after 10 seconds, after I add my onion, I'm gonna add my sweet pepper and my scotch bonnet pepper. So 
You're just gonna leave it for at least 15 seconds. So now I'm gonna add my vinegar, okay? My white vinegar. And I'm gonna add at least two tablespoons, okay? And I'm gonna add one teaspoon of sugar, brown sugar. Then you wanna give it a stir. And you're just gonna leave it guys for at least 30 seconds, okay? And it is ready. I'm telling you, it smells so good. So my escobit sauce is all finished because you don't want your sweet pepper guys to become too soft, okay? So this is perfect. So this is all my fish guys and as you can see they are super super crispy so so crispy so now I'm gonna pour my escabiche dressing all over my fish like so I'm telling you it smells so good super super delicious I wish you guys could be in my kitchen this recipe guys is a must try Don't forget guys to share this video to your families, to your friends, and everyone on your social media. I'm gonna pour the sauce over like so. So there you have it guys. This is how I make my Jamaican excavate fish. Please give this video a thumbs up share it guys to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media i will really really appreciate it you can serve it with some festival some hard or bread some rice whatever you preferred or if you want you can just eat it just as it is may i tell you guys it look good it looks so so good so guys i'm just gonna show you guys and oh i'm eating my fish with my hard or bread and I also serve it with some rice and peas, yes? I'm telling you guys, it tastes so, so good. This recipe right here is a must try. It is so, 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 so flavorful. If you do try this recipe, please don't forget to comment below and tell me what it's like, okay? And don't forget, guys, to share it. Share it to your families, to your friends, and everyone on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. And hit your notification button for whenever I upload a video, you will be the first to see it. I thank you all so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye. Don't forget to keep laughing, keep smiling, no matter what. Because God is always on your side. Bye guys, much love.